briefly, kids, this woman right here gives you the Barry Crook Ash Powder Jar. This guy talks about secret power. This guy just talks about seaweed. And you got the Energy Guru and the Effort Ribbon right here. And this person who will who has just some dolls. We can't really do much with dolls right this minute, but that's okay. By the way, hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. I am Seth Eiser. <laughs> In the last part, we decided it would be a great idea to take on the Trickmaster's house. And in this part, well, you could go this way for some extra experience, but there's no need to fight any of them on screen right this minute. So let's go this way! Because why the hell not? And we got a bunch of random encounters that we have to go through. Oh, Wingo, we've already went over you. Which I don't really want to do again. Alright. Screw your speed, Wingo. Anyway. Gulpin is one of the first random encounters you can find here. It's a pure poison type. Defensive. It's more viable in multiplayer than it is in single player. Two stuff encounters for the win. And again, it's also showing a Pokemon we haven't seen. Next is something I can recommend more if you're going on a single player run, and that's Electrike. It is a very speedy electric Pokemon that's just known for what the electric type is good for. Fast, aggressive, swift striking, but a bit of a glass cannon. I have, a gr I have an electric type I like better, but I can see why people would like Electric quite a bit. Next up, Hustle and Minoon, they are, they kind of need to be talked about in a pair. Hustle, well, I think they're more viable than a different pairing we find, but, and single player, they're fast, they have some speed, that's not so bad, but I really don't think too highly of that family. And if you want a fast Electrotype on this route, just get an Electrike. It's not really that hard. And then we have the an old classic also on this route. You have Oddish! Everybody kind of knows Oddish. It evolves into two different Pokemon, either the defensive mono-type grass, Bellossom, or the more classic... The more classic... Evolution Vile Plume, which is more special attack oriented. I prefer Vile Plume if you want an evolution of those two. It's not bad. I've actually considered. Oh, there's Electric right there, guys. Hey! But I've actually considered Oddish for my team, but decided against it because I'm going for someone else to fill the special attacker role. And it's not too terribly far from this route. Even if it means I'm doubling up on a type. But that's okay. Actually, wait, do I just have a potion? I could just burn. Derp! Don't! Derp doesn't need the healing, he's derp. <laughs> anyway. different encounter! Gulpin, who can also easily represent the Derp. This is actually a great matchup because, well, let's be honest. If any poison attacks do not affect the Steel type at all. And it's why I think the world of the Steel type... Oh, Yawn. Gulpin learns a lot of weird moves like Yawn. Yawn's just a good move in general, though. Especially if you want to provoke switches in multiplayer. But in single player, it's even better because the computer doesn't really switch. But anyway. Alrighty, let's... Head on up. Alright, 
Let me see if let me see if this old exploit is still available. Yes, it is. You can actually use cut to get rid of the grass if you really don't want to walk through it all. Actually, this would be funny. No, there's nothing to cut. Oh, I'm a little short. Hey, so I'm down to see. While I was searching for another Pokemon, I don't for sure. So how about a little battle? It has been a while since we battled May. And this is where our team starts to show a little bit of diversity. Wingle her water ace. I use that too a little loosely. Uh, 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 rock tomb. Stab rock tomb. It's the greatest of them all. Stab rock tomb. To the window that will fall. Groovile! And if, if you're not battling, if you didn't start with Mudkip, the grass type choice would be Lombre here. Lombre is our grass choice, that's non starter. Wingle, if memory serves me correctly, is our water choice, that's not, you know. And her fire choice will be obvious here in a minute. I need to scroll up because she'll have it. But anyway. Ooh, pursuit. Oh, damn! That's brutal! Holy shit! Oh! Oh, I love you, Ushambe. My little Taylo. The level 21! Alright! Slugma. I really hate this Pokemon. I 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 hate this Pokemon. God damn motherfucking Slugma! I'm okay. And it burns. Wonderful. Eat rocks, you little slut bitch. Yeah! You're dead. Eat it. Eat the rocks. And Wheatley grows to level 19. Hey! Look at that boost of defense, because that's awesome. Yikes, you're better than I expected. The one bad thing about remakes, by the way, I'm going a little tangent here. Aaron's nowhere near as accessible. Yes, I have been busy training. A reward! Yay, the item finder! It tells you where items are. Oh, it made a sound. In later incarnations, it's a lot better than it is now. Why do you have a bike? I want a bike! Why can't I have? Damn it! Anyway. Oh, I didn't mean to use the potion there, but whatever. Whatever. It's good if it was a nun's luck run. There's actually an item here. This is a rare opportunity for a double battle, so let's... You know what? Derp did not see any action in the rival battle, so let's give Derp some proper action. Wow, you really want to see Pokemon. Wow, and a rocker. Edwin and Joseph. Oh, Lombre and Electra. Oh boy. Fun. Go oh, Jeffrey Nishon Bane. Hey. I chose sorta of wisely. Fuck you, Lombre. <laughs> oh, all the Mexican stereotypes for Lombre. They're just Ah, Nonsleeve! I think it's the superior of the two families, if you're looking to really do some damage. And Electric has fallen. That's fairly straightforward. So how have you guys been? It's been a lot since I've recorded some Pokemon. Oh, Voltorb! I think in the remakes, I know you can find Voltorb here, in this route. I don't think you can find it here, in the original. But... Future stuff, we'll see about that, if I'm right or wrong about that, that fact. And if not, I'll cover Voltorb anyway. Voltorb is a very fast Pokemon. I, It's known for speed, and it's also known for self-destruct, but it has a crappy attack stat. 
I just don't really like that family very much. Plus, Electro and Voltorb should be able to float on water and use, but it doesn't know how to use Surf. You are a worthless ball. So you have died. I wanted to complete my collection. You got into the groove, all right. I just ruined his jam. He's so pissed. I like collecting math presentations too. Sometimes the collectors just sound really, really dark. So, I think I'm actually going to, let me just check the experience. Yeah, because in a few more experience, damn it. Screw you, Gulpin. Screw you. And it's good that it, the Shumbai here is getting some action, because in the next gym, spoiler alert, it, it's not going to get hardly any action at all because of the type. Which is kind of a shame, but it is where it is. The next gym could actually be objectively hard if you didn't start with Mudkip. Ooh. Mandatory double battle income. Damn it, Wingle. I have foreseen your intentions. I cannot possibly lose! I fell off cycling rope. How do you throw logs in there? What were you thinking? Oh, you want to get over your embarrassment about battling me? Thinking I'm some sort of easy win, huh? But how do you fall off a cycling road? Oh, Abra Magnemite! That is a formidable combination. And I like the Magnemite family. I have a great history with it. I think the world of it. So, it has to die. Very fast. It's even more powerful now because of the upgraded sturdy ability. Plus it can learn Mirror Coat because it has a little weaker special defense than it does physical defense. As a way to deal with your fire type glass cannons a little bit, even if it doesn't really have the hit points to really, really take advantage of that move. And both of them are level 22! Go them! Go team! Yay! I failed to prophesize my own demise. Sounds like a cure. Oops, I ended up losing. I gained some money. What is this? Ushambra is evolving! Yes! Another reason why I really like the Taylor family, it does evolve at a, at a very, very low level. Similar more to Firo in that regard, just ra rather 22 versus 20, but... I like Swallow so much more than I do Firo. I just do. Just look at this thing. And it really ain't gonna debut in the gym, but hey. But look at this thing! So much speed and physical attack! It's... it's last cannon -y, but hey! Every good team kind of needs that speedster. And here's an elixir. Rhyming almost-ish accidentally. There's a hidden item here. Free Pokeball. Hooray. Go, team, what the hell? Damn it. Oh, there's a wild electric, finally. And here's some berries that you can pluck. That's a trainer. But we don't want to hear about all that. We have made it to Marvel City. Marvel City looks a lot more impressive in the remakes than it does here. But it's not too bad. But. I think I think this is a good part to actually cut off for now. So I've been Seth Eiser, you've been you. And I bid you adieu as I dance around. We. Bye bye.